The icy conditions are not great, are they? Jeez. Shit! You fuck! Jesus! Jesus! You fucks! Oh my god! I don't have time to yield to you right now! All right. Okay. Crimes against Skyrim and her people. <laughs> Fuck me. What say you in your defense? Only in Windhelm. <laughs>was it this new figure who had appeared? Yes, the figure of Eola, who eventually led them on a strange, mysteri similarly mysterious quest to clear out some Draugr from a ruin. Yes, all in the name of the Daedric Prince, Vermina. And in the final chamber of that dungeon, whatever it was called, Reachwin, Skull Reach, Far Reaching, whatever, some kind of reach around, <laughs> dungeon. A dungeon filled with reach arounds. <laughs> Did the dragonborn discover a horrific altar? One for human sacrifice. And it was there that Aeola had prepared and was preparing to prepare a feast of human flesh! <gasps> yes, and the dragonborn did swoop in and come in for that big feast and participated in it and ate a man yes the dragonborn ate some guy it was not just any guy it was brother verilusus and he was delicious <laughs> and now aeola was best friends forever hmm? how about that this is the elder scrolls 5 skyrim welcome back also we're in vlindra hall because you know what when we left off in what do you call it i forgot that we bought a house I forgot that we owned that we owned a house here in Markarth. Oops. <laughs> Let's get on out of here. Let's get on with the well, with the main quest, of course. Right? It's finally time. We've recruited every member of the blades that we possibly can. We've investigated a few of the words of power, but ultimately, you know, that's unimportant, right? Because we're just going to investigate. In oh. It's you, isn't it? We know. We know. <laughs> we know. All right. What do you have to say? Do you have anything else to say here? Don't try to haggle with me. Buy or leave. Oh, my bad. <laughs> in the in the opening, I said. <laughs> in the previously on, I said Vermina. It's Namira. Don't go talking about that. Only the dinner guests can know. All right. Come back when you need more meat. Good lord! I had no idea that it was this dude who was in on it. Huh. My and he's the meat man. Buddy. Let's get some. Meat. He is the meat man. The bloodiest beef in the reach. All right, wild. Pretty fortunate that he didn't get stabbed to death, right? Cut of venison or mutton? Well, of course you do. Oh, all right. Let's head on out of here. Backfire. We need to get to White Run, right? Yeah, we need to speak with Balgruf. Let's do it, huh? Let's see, let's take our first carriage ride out of here. Actually, let's track the quest just as well. Do we have anything that we need to do in... Oh, yes, we need to retrieve the diamond from War Maidens in Whiterun. We'll do that as well while we're dropping by. And the next time we're in it or around Riften, we can turn that in too. Good. All right. Let's head on out over there. Of course, I did some rudimentary inventory management in between videos. But it shouldn't be too stringent because we have a new friend with us, right? Remember, I was singing about giving her a bow, but she comes with a one-handed sword, so I feel like, you know, let's kind of keep it in the same 
what do you call the same wheelhouse Traveling as a one-handed weapon city of Markarth sure is a beauty let's see I would love that I'd love to go to white run let's see I'd like to hire your carriage Where do you want to go? and down there climb and back and we'll be off all right let's go on a magical adventure I can't wait here forever oh, okay jeez here we go that said he does wait here forever as far as we know he's always here <laughs> he's always in town right he's we don't ever see him going coming and going right good lord all right oh shit jesus we're just here like two-thirds of the way dead or some shit all right should we sell off a few things at the caravan here hey Rasad. The wind blows bitter cold in this place. I know, dude. It sucks ass. Fortune Are you playing on... Upon this meeting. Rasad's got to be playing on survival mode. Take a look. All right. Let's go on over here. Let's... Actually, let's buy some shit from Rasad first. Let's buy up all these soul gems. We need that, right? Level up our enchanting and all that. Seems good. There we are. Buy up some ore as well. Should we get some just raw-ass ebony? I don't know. Maybe. It's good, right? It's good stuff. Any good potions, plentiful healing, lovely. Do I just want some skooma just for fun? Do I just want some skooma for fun? Sure. Why not? Anything else here? I could buy all these, like, rare and exotic hootenannies, right? Do I dare? I don't know. Maybe I'm not feeling like getting into them just yet. But it seems as if I ate moon sugar at some point and revealed every effect. <laughs> In between videos at some point, I guess I just like went through everything and ate some moon sugar. Accidentally. Alright, now let's sell our shit potions. There we go. Get rid of all this. There we are. Should we take a big loss? Or let's try and cut our losses just a tad. Let's see down here. That'll do. That'll do. Thanks, dude. May your road lead you to warm sands. Yours as well. Hopefully it dries up. Goodness gracious. Actually, I can I can fix that, Rasad. Look! It's me! I'm going to change the weather! Ah! No. There we go. Cool. <laughs> Maybe that time we shall like Dry Rasad! <laughs> <laughs> we we shout his name. <laughs> Good lord. Could you imagine that, having a dragon shout with your own name in it? Good lord. Are there any that do have, like, a like the name of, like, a... I don't know, some hero of yore in them? I'm not sure. I know there's a few that summon people, but I'm, I'm not even sure if they have, like, their names in the summon. Right? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. Let's head on up and around here. We should probably snooze and lose in a major way, right? Let's also stash our weird junk that we bought. There we are. Probably shouldn't have put that in there. Oh, whoops. There we go. This heavy shit. Good. Gold ore. Dump that in there. Dump these. Okay. Cool. And I'll actually pull out the salt. Good. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful baubles, gleaming gemstones. It gets me every time. I can't unhear that man. Medesi? There we are. Will the shops be open at like 6 a.m.? Shit. I feel like we balls that one up a bit, but eh. What can you do? Let's chow down on some meat pie. All right. And pheasant roast. There we are. Cool. All right, let's head on up and over here. It's been a while since we spoke to... Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful time of day. It's been a while since we spoke to the Jarl here. But hopefully, you know, hopefully he's cool with our plan. I forget if you have to do anything special for this. Oh yeah, you definitely do. You definitely do. You have to go get like a special shout, right? Yeah. Okay. Up and over here. I th at least I think you do. I don't know. I thought you had to get like a special shell for this. Maybe not. Maybe you learn it 
from from other means. I can't recall. All right. Jeez, where are you at, Jarl? Oh shit, we forgot to steal that shit. All right, we'll we'll get it on our way back out. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Jeez, it's been forever since we were up in here, huh? Look, are you still standing we here? We can never rest easy, or Balgruff's enemies will not. Yeah, wait until you see what I'm about to do, Aerolith. <laughs> it seems our enemies have no end of spies, saboteurs, and assassins to send against us. Uh -huh. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. Okay. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can yes. assist you. Okay, well, I, d I don't need any assistance. Let's head into the Jarl's quarters. Hey. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Thanks. What is it that you need? Yeah, I need your help to trap a dragon in your palace. <laughs> that's that's what I need. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. You know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. You heard right. It's the only way to stop the dragons. Let's try and persuade. Of course. You already saved White Run from that dragon. I owe you a great deal. But I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city when we've been working so hard to keep them out? The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin? The world eater himself? But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? It's only hopeless if we give up. I'm Dragonborn. It's my destiny to stop him. Maybe so, but I plan to go down fighting. What about you? Let's see. I kind of like going into this, right? Like, I, this is this is like my favorite cool guy line to say, right? But this, this feels as if it plays into, you know, all the, like, prophecy and fate of the Elder Scrolls and stuff, right? I'm Dragonborn. It's my my destiny to stop him. I don't know about such things, but I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Oh, Do you this think is they will sit do. idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. What if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. All right. Leave that to me. I'll talk to Arngir about hosting a peace council. Aye, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons. And this war into the bargain. All right. Are you ready to spring the trap on the dragon? My men will be ready when you are, Dragonborn. You have a truce to arrange first, eh? Yeah. Dragon's Reach was built to hold a dragon? According to legend. Although I never thought to put the tail to the test. Well, you never had much of an opportunity. Jarl Olaf One-Eye it was, who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat atop Mount Anthor and brought it back to Whiterun. Mm. Numenex was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. All right. See, usually I don't shout them into submission. I just drink vegetable soup and just knock the shit out of them. And that's good enough. That's usually good enough for for what my purpose is. You know, if anything, even just thinking about, do we really even need Dragon's Reach? Maybe just give me like a pile of soup and, you know, I can just kind of keep it there all day. <laughs> I could just, you know, swing my shield at it just nonstop 
with a little bit of soup. <laughs> Good lord. Who are you putting your money now, on? if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. An entire giant massive structure built specifically to keep a dragon Wait, held inside I of it? You. Or a guy with like loads of cans of soup? <laughs> Good lord. Alright. Where do we have to go for this now? Talk to Arngear. The Jarl of Whiterun won't help me capture a dragon as long as the Civil War is raging. If I can get the Greybeards to host a peace council, I can try to convince the Imperials and the Stormcloaks to agree to a truce in order to defeat Alduin, who is a threat to both sides in the Civil War. Right. Alright. Head on out here. You know, we touched on this very early on in the playthrough, but I still think it would be so cool if when Elder Scrolls 6 rolls around, if that doomsday cult idea, even if it's just like a small minor faction or whatever, that doomsday cult like crops up and they like see Alduin as, as maybe Akatosh, as an aspect of Akatosh or some way that in which like prophecy went awry and like also like, like the Dragonborn was, was destined to show up but fail, right? In that the Dragonborn fucked up the natural order of things, and that the world should have ended, right? Especially if a new crisis crops up in Elder Scrolls Six, people are like, "Yeah, we shouldn't have gone on in this cycle for this long. The world should have ended and re been reborn." What what happened in the events of Skyrim sent us like off kilter, right? I love the idea of a doomsday cult that would, like, believe that shit. Alright, let's sell off some more shit here. Got some good Usually got a lot of money. I don't claim to be the best... Take a look. There we go. And let's get rid of some weird potions and stuff. There we are. <laughs> we'll get rid of one. Okay. Don't forget look, to check I almost forgot. The shop if you need here, anything. War Maidens. Yeah, I need something in here. Have you met All my right. father? Oh shit. He's a steward up at Dragon. Yeah, chill Beach. out, okay? You get the fuck away. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Let's pick into this. There we are. And beautiful. Anything else up here that we want? A little bit of gold. Ooh, some straw. I like that. Okay. Killing before you're killed. More money. Let's see here. A little bit more money. Oh. Hey. Get away from me. Oh, hang Welcome on. To war maidens. Maybe you'll Looking change your mind when you see this amazing trash damage. potion. Let's see here. How about you take some of this? Oh, look at this. There you go. You like that? Let's see. Is there any cool like armor that we would want to give to our new companion here? She seems to have a preference for light armor, though. Hmm. Do I want to give her the Daedric Mail, though? I don't know. It would kind of fit with her whole vibe. Good doing business right? But we already that. gave Daedric Mail to Atar. Granted, Atar is definitely not wearing it anymore, but... <laughs> but I digress. Alright, let's head on out over here. Let's see. Hmm. Let's get rid of this. Oh, dear lord. There we are. Should we hit, head over to... to Riften? And then run the rest of the way? We could turn stuff in there at Riften. Alternatively, we could, like, run up to Helhjarchen and then take the carriage to Iverstead, right? That might be a faster run. Yeah, that's totally a faster run than from Riften to Iverstead and then up to Thread of the World. Let's do that. Absolutely. We'll make use of our newly erected and built up Helsharchen Hall, our homestead. Alright. Let's head on down over here. Good. Let's see. Is Prior Mabel around? Let's have a look over here. Oh no. Oh, where is she? Where's Prior Mabel? What happened? We even slept here and everything, didn't we? Good lord. Did she die again? <laughs> Are we gonna have to get Prior Mabel 4? <laughs> Good lord. Alright. Here. Well, we'll just take the free horse. There we are. 
Let's do a quick save. Good. All right. I'm assuming Aeola is going to be cool with us just committing all sorts of crimes, right? <laughs> could you, could you imagine if she were like a, <laughs> like very finicky and picky about what we do? Like, oh come on, you're going to steal the horse? Like, damn girl, you would eat this horse, let alone the stable master that trains it. <laughs> Good lord. Go on up over here. Let's see. Up this way. Great. Cool. Yeah, we'll call for like the peace summit at uh <laughs> at High Hrothgar and all that. <laughs> and Eola will see everyone gather and be like, oh, is this another feast? Are we just going to eat all these people? She, see, she's playing she's like she's trying to get the New Vegas achievement where you cannibalize every like rare NPC in the game or whatever. Right? <laughs> she's going on like an achievement run or whatever. <laughs> She, she she has to eat uh, Ulfric Stormcloak, General Tullius, uh, who else? <laughs> Jarl Balgruf, uh, who who else is important? Probably uh, Elisif, uh, Jarl Elisif, gotta eat her too. Maybe, who, who else? Uh, fucking Harkon, gotta eat him. Mirak or whatever their name is, gotta eat them. <laughs> Good lord. All right, <laughs> what's going up here? There we are. Now she becomes the world eater. It's her. It's Aeola. <laughs> oh shit, who's this? Is this fucking Talscar out here? Talscar, is that you? It is. Here, I'm gonna take your stuff. The holds of Skyrim. I'm just gonna keep taking shit until we get caught. There we are. Oh shit. All right. <laughs> okay, this is going pretty well. Why oh. you? Oh. Oh! Peace! Be a peace, Talsgar. Be a peace. Actually, can I yield to you? Can I yield to you and you'll be... Will you be a peace? Let's see. Talsgar, be a peace! Be a peace! Be a peace, man! Oh, shit. Oh, God. Where's our horse gone? Chill out, Talsgar! <laughs> We're just getting more and more bounty as he sees us mount this horse. Talsgar, how do you even know this is a stolen horse? Your kind has no place here! Oh my gosh, and he's a racist? Great. <laughs> let's see, let's go on up here. There we are. Good. Over this way. Good, good, good. Oh shit, look at this. What a what a vista. It almost makes me forget that Talsgar the Wanderer is chasing me. Screaming like <laughs> like, like hateful shit. <laughs> Go back to Morrowind! Good lord. Fucking Talsgar. Jeez. Let's see. Over here. Good, good, good. Look at that. Our sweet little home away from home popping in <laughs> I wonder if if they'll have like further or maybe even no pop in in Elder Scrolls 6 right given like how the hardware works on those consoles right on the new ones you have to assume because you can get it cranked up pretty high with just PC mods and shit right let's see let's get off of you there you go have a good one horse I need to haul ass over to Iverstead go? Let's see. There we go. Climbing back and we'll be off. You don't have anything to say about Iverstead, right? Oh, steady on. Okay. That'd be really wild if they added new dialogue or whatever for Sun the carriage good, huh? drivers. Just for the new little things that they added in with um with Hearthfire, right? Oh shit, we're hungry as shit. Is there an inn up here? I forget. Yeah, there is. Wait. All right. I know you. We'll sleep here for the night. There we are. We'll be ready Welcome to, to head on up the mountain. Oh! Talsgar! What the fuck?! Ah! Jesus, you followed me all the way out here?! You're dead! Everyone in this inn loves me! They're here! This is the last day you're ever gonna fucking wander, Talsgar! You, yeah, you won't leave Skyrim alive! Get him, everybody! Fuck him up! Fuck him up! 
That's right, we're about to make a new fucking opening in the Bard's College. Ugh. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah, you better run, Talzgar. You better run! Oh my god, they're really gonna... They're gonna obliterate that man. Oh my god, he's immune to everything. <gasps> By Ismir! He's invincible! Oh my god! Satan himself has arrived on the scene! Good lord, we gotta get out here! There's gonna be collateral damage! Talzgar, follow me out here! I can't believe it, he, he followed the cart, or he was like a stowaway. If you listened on the, on the road, you would hear him like strumming his, his lute or whatever. You'd hear, what is that? Is that the sound of Ragnar the Red I hear? <laughs> no, it's probably just the wind. Jeez, look, the dude dar is still going buck wild. Look at that. Fucking Talzgar. What's the hurry? Jesus, man. Alright. Are we good? Did he like despawn or anything? Welcome My to the big one. Oh god. Okay, okay, here. Let's try what do we do? Illusion? Pacify. Right? Pacify. That's gotta be it. Or calm. Be calm, Talzgar! He's too powerful. All right, this one. Be calm, hey, Talzgar. I didn't ask you to magic me. <laughs> hey. If you fancy okay. a bit of music, Talzgar, please know. leave. Is it leave immediately, Talzgar. for you to bother me right now. Oh God, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? Is he going to leave? Oh no. <laughs> Shit, never stolen from him. Here for work. Get oh, an God. axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Who is this Keep guy? An eye out for wolves if you're up the path to High Hrothgar. Oh, do you usually go up there? Friends yes. like you are hard to What are you doing? And I'm walking valuable. the 7,000 steps to honor the gray beards and reflect on my own life. Wow. It's a tradition among the Nords of Skyrim. Okay. Sure. You're going right. up there, huh? In the dead of night? Spooky. Welcome to okay. The Inn. Is this dude still peace? You, He's playing go. here now. Here. What was that? No! Talzgard, chill out! Oh god, I missed him. I missed him! Uh-oh. <laughs> uh Good lord, I forgot also what's his butt is here just as well. <laughs> okay. Talzgard, be a peace, be a peace, be a peace. Here, play your song. Play one of your favorite songs. Play one of your favorite songs. Uh, yeah, the Dragonborn comes. Yep, yep, have a good one, dude. Timba is much happier now that you took care of those bears. Okay. Here. I need a room. Sure thing. Quick. I need a room. Okay, thank you. Oh, God, he's like been mauled by Talzgar. No one has died, right? Yep. We're all good here. Believe, believe. Okay. <laughs> Let's go for 12 hours. That seems fine. Okay. The question is, will Talzgar be gone when we wake up? Or will we wake up and the entire inn is dead except for us? Will Talzgar have, like, annihilated everyone in here? Anything else you oh, dear God. He's a, he's a lunatic. Keep your spells at me. Oh, this is actually a pretty great way to level our shit, huh? Yeah, because we get XP uh, for each person it affects, huh? Ruined. I swear these bears have it out for me. <laughs> fucking Temba. <laughs> these fucking bears! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Good lord. She's right, though. She's right. They're, they're insufferable. They're terrible. All right, what if we just leave town for a while? What if we just leave town, huh? Is everything going to be good? everything cool if we just leave let's see we'll take some of these though there we go double chicken eggs we'll take all their food as well I'll just eat some pilgrim or not if I were you I'd move right through our backwards little town okay jeez jeez I'm moving through I'm moving here I go let's see let's let's chow down on some of this raw cabbage though mmm yum and how about some raw potatoes? There we are. Whew, not nearly enough though. How about rabbit haunch? There we go. 
Just enough. Let's fucking run before Talzgar shows up. Could you imagine if he crashes the peace... The peace summit? <laughs> Could you imagine if Talzgar shows the fuck up at the peace summit and he just tries to kill everyone? <laughs> that would be fucking amazing. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Ooh. Oh, Whoa. Wait, Aeola, you're a wizard? Oh, shit, you know magic. What the fuck? Okay, sure. I dig it. Let's run on up here. There we are. Hey, you know, since I'm assuming the, uh, the Ring of Namira doesn't get you diseased when you eat a person, right? Does it make it to where, like, if you eat raw meat from an animal or whatever, do you get a disease? Do you get food poisoning? I wonder. Oh, who's this? Oh, this is Barknar or whatever his name is, huh? Keep yeah. an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to high Hrothgar. All right. There's ice rays and frost trolls just as well, dude. All manner of terrible things. There we are. And maniacs soul-trapping goats. Let's see, let's also use our clear skies. You know, normally I'd be pretty worried about Talzgar being down there, being like completely fucking indestructible and just, you know, run amok in Iverstead, but I'm pretty sure we did every quest in Iverstead, right? Except for one, and I'm fairly certain that guy is also essential, right? So him, Sam and Telsgar will just be duking it out nonstop forever in Iverstead. Oh shit, look at this dancing fool. Okay. Oh, look the fuck out! Oh shit. There we go. Boom. Love it. Okay. Dude, th that's gonna suck. Oh shit, if Talzgar keeps showing up and he's hostile every time. No, he'll forgive and forget, right? He'll forgive and forget. Oh shit. Did that kill you? No. Wishful thinking. Oh, damn. Okay. Rip that troll fat right out of its butt. Let's see. Clear skies. Good. Let's grab some of these. Mmm. Delicious berries. Let's see. What kind of berries are snowberries? Are they... Yeah, they're, they have only good effects. I'm going to assume that they're like... Well, no, because the environment is completely wrong. <laughs> they're probably more like holly or mistletoe or something like that. I don't know. I was about to say, I'm just going to imagine that they're, like, delicious cranberries. <laughs> but no, they're probably, like, some other... They're like holly, right? Gotta be. Unless I checked, like, a person cannot eat holly, right? Like, it's horrifically toxic to, to anyone that eats it, right? I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure. Or maybe I'm mistaken? I don't know. Let's see. Grab some of that. You know, now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever seen a regular cranberry, like, up close. I feel like I've only seen them, like, dried, right? Like, craisins, or in, like, a juice form, or, like, for a mixer or something. Huh. Surely I've seen them, like, in commercials or something, right? Surely I've seen, like, normal fresh cranberries in, like, a commercial. Surely. But certainly, you know, there's... There's no, like, big crates of fresh cranberries around in grocery stores, at least not where I live. You get, like, blueberries, strawberries, cherries, other things in packages too big. That way you can't eat all of them before they go bad, because, you know, strawberries only good for, like, five seconds, and then they start getting mold. <laughs> what is up with that? That fucking sucks. <laughs> all right. There we are. Good, good, good. 
only sent one troll there. I don't think I've ever gone up here and there wasn't that troll. Sometimes the Ice Wraith, I feel like, is not here, you know? But the troll, definitely always there. Once again, yet another sign of inaction from the Greybeards and Parthenax, right? <laughs> Look at them sitting up here in their ivory tower, right? Looking down upon us all. Can't even be bothered to fucking kill the Frost Troll when people- Yeah, normal ass people come up here and face treacherous conditions, right? They straight up bring them food and everything. Not only do are they doing it, you know, like, totally free of charge and just to be, like, kind and offer some sort of, I don't know, religious or sentimental offering to them or just out of the kindness of their heart, but the Greybeards can't even be bothered to fucking clear the roads, dude! People die coming up here! Right? <laughs> People literally will die trying to get up here! <laughs> what the fuck? Good God, man. Alright. Up this way. Oh shit, I've slowed down in a major way. There we are. Good. Grab some of these. Cool. Well, look, any new offerings for us? Huh? No. I think this is the only... Is this the only chest that looks like this? That has this, like, frosted over, like, frost-crusted texture to it? I feel like it might be. At least in the core game. Right? I think all the other ones keep the standard look. Alright. Let's see. Iron gear? Guess what? Sky, got you. Let's see. Have, uh... Oh, let's get one of these. Have you located any words of power? We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Cool. Well, also, um... <laughs> I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Yeah, and anything else, for that matter. Your old Balgriff won't help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. I do love how much more this plays out if you haven't yet resolved the Civil War. I think it's so much cooler to have the Peace Summit go on. And, uh, the conversation between the two factions and all that shit. I think that's so... It's so juicy, I think. All right. Yeah, they, they will listen. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. All right. Are you ready to host the Peace Council? Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to terms. Great. Man, I forgot we had to actually go speak with all of them. Breath <laughs> all right, that makes sense though, because you sure as shit aren't going to do it. <laughs> all right, let's head on out. Good lord, we've got quite the journey ahead of us here. Let's see. How exactly do we want to do this? Hmm. We definitely want to jump off from here and head over to White Run. Let's see. What's all this? Oh, the word of power. At Highgate Ruins. I mean, I guess we can do that as well, right? Yeah. Let's see. Let's head on over this way. So we need to hop off right over here, don't we? I think we'll hit up Ulfric first, right? Because Windhelm is closer. Become ethereal. Been a while since we used this. Hey, look at that over there. It's like a three-layer cake. What is that? Shit, is that Felglow Keep? My god, I think it is. Oh. How cool is that? Alright. Let's do this. 
Do we want to have like a nice angle? I feel like I'm about to fall off though. <laughs> I feel like this might be as nice of an angle as we're going to get. Fine. There we are. All right. Now we got to be careful. Okay. Let's do a quick save just in case I fuck it up. There we are. Good. Look at this. We're doing all right. Cool. Lovely. All right. Now we should be able to navigate. Let's see. Can we make use of these big rocks or... No, we should... Well, yeah, let's use our ability again. All right. Here we go. Five. There we go. Okay, can we make this one? Can we make it? Can we make it? Oh, shit. It's going to be close. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Is this quick save? <laughs> all right. We're fine. It's all good. There we are. Oh, down. Ooh. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> all right. Like this. Good. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, shit. There's a wild bear. Run amok. Okay. Over here. Good. All right. Cool. Man, imagine if... If Morrowind's, like, hills and mountains had as much, like, weird little ledges and platforms and stuff that you had to navigate as you were jumping over them. Right? Assuming you didn't have, like, a... Like, a jump or levitate or similar effect, right? Actually, I guess Skywind will probably have that, right? You'd have to assume, right? Shit. Maybe I shouldn't assume that, but I think I will. Oh, hey. She just ran all the way around. As it turns out, eating people makes you really fast. All right. Over here, should we pop on into the metery here and sell off some junk? I'm sure that creep is, like, running shop and everything. Oh, look. We should grab some of these fun dudes. There we are. Good. Okay. Cool. And then... Oh, no, it's locked up. Or was it... This was not the... Yeah, the boilery was definitely not it. Yeah, they're probably just closed or something for the time being. Oh, no, it's 11.54. Why are they closed? Hold up. I'm going to break in. Let's see. Did we kill this guy? No. He's still kicking. We didn't do anything to this man. He probably just keeps weird hours. Can't a man have a bit of privacy? Get out of here! No, I'm trying to trade with you. You're not supposed okay, to be okay, in geez. here. Okay, okay, jeez. Okay, God. Okay, fine. <laughs> Good Lord. Here we are. I guess I guess we're lucky Talsgar the Wanderer didn't show up in there. <laughs> All right. Fucking Talsgar is about to show up coming, crashing and thrashing and clashing of steel. <laughs> All right. There we are. Let's see. Should we get some speedy times? Yeah, let's do it. There we oh, go. Nah! Hopefully they don't get angry at me. Good. And then we want to go over to Windhelm, please. Need I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Yeah, I'd love to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Windhelm. There we are. Climbing back and we'll be off. Beautiful. All right. Over here. Prior Mabel here? No, Prior Mabel is just MIA. Sun feels good, huh? MIA in a major way. See, we should have known something was up when we were at the Markar stables and that weird, mysterious, like, Bizarro prior Mabel showed up, right? What the fuck? Alright. Oh, look! It's prior Mabel! What? Wait, no! Who are you? Who are you? What the fuck? <laughs> How eerie. Okay. Let's clear the skies and all that, right? There we are. No. It's too cold! Great. Oh, shit! Oh, no! 
There's a big man who has shown up. Ooh, Somebody and they look powerful. Me. They look vaguely powerful. Okay. I'm going to eat salmon. I see you. Okay. Let's get our axe at the ready. Good. Let's have dragon rend ready as well. Can I oh, land the shot? Ugh. Ooh, snipped him. All right. Yes. Oh shit, you're a lego dragon. Fuck. Alright. Let's juice up here. There we are. Fuck. Alright. Got you again. Yeah, you better come back here. You stink butt. Oh shit, it's like flying away. Alright, let's get some soup in us, right? We want to play it safe with this big ass motherfucker. Okay. Oh shit, where are you going? Oh shit, that was a miss. No! Oh god. The fucking debuff, huh? Jeez. Dickhead. There we go. Jeez. Let's heal up. The icy conditions are not great, are they? There. Okay. Shit! You fuck! Jesus! Jesus! You fucks! Oh my god! I don't have time to yield to you right now! Alright. Okay. Crimes against Skyrim and her people. Fuck me. What say you in your defense? Only in Windhelm. <laughs> Only in Windhelm. Uh, let's see. How about I pay you some gold and you look the other fucking way? All right, all right. Just keep your voice down and don't let me catch you again. All right. Look out. Don't get too close. Thankfully, no one noticed that it was me absorbing the dragon soul. Who is this man who did this? All right. Let's see. What have you got? Yeah. Glass helmet of eminent destruction. I guess we'll take everything. No, uh, no casualties, right? I think we're in the clear. I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. You didn't see anything. Don't forget that 1,102 gold. You didn't see anything. All right. <laughs> Let's get the hell on out of here. Did all the horses help or just a few? I have no idea. It was just complete chaos. Is that also a person standing right there? Is this a person? No. This is a bush. Okay. I think it was just guards out here. Yeah, looks that way. Okay. Let's get in town. We need to get a room. All that good stuff, right? Goodness gracious. Alright. Actually, we don't even need a room. We just need to warm up. Right? We can get a room somewhere else. All day long. Do you have any idea how dull horses are? Oh, aren't you our contact? You're a traitor. I love my husband, but he can be a bit dull at times. Hmm. Maybe she's not. Huh. So her husband is the stable master? Is that the idea? Hmm. Okay. 
Let's get on out and over here. Very well. And let's warm up. Actually, you know what? Perhaps when next we come back, we'll investigate Ulfric and all that shit, right? In between videos, we can rest up. I hope someday shit. we'll get to know each other better. Let me know if you want Yeah, perhaps anything. Ulandil. I think I've got a clean right. mug around here. Let's warm up. Is there a fire somewhere? Or we, we just generally warm it. Because we can do a little bit of reading Have before we end this, right? Stories of dragons? Elder, you know better than to believe every idiot traveler that wanders through. But they're saying that one of them... <sighs> I see why the Nords like Skyrim. He's in league this crisp with air is wonderful for the lungs. God, how ridiculous that sounds. Come now, sing a good death. Captain Lonely, oh Ga Lonely Gale. The there was one just outside. I've got its bones. Look, dude. Look at this. Look at this, Lonely Gale. Look. Such a nice person. These are its fucking bones, man. Look. What are you staring? I killed it. The townsfolk call me Captain because I used to be a sailor. You fuck. Need something? What a motherfucker. Damn you straight to hell, Captain Lonely Gale. I, I hope one eats you. I hope one <laughs> eats you. I don't really know what keeps me going. <laughs> All right. Let's read a little something something here. All right. What have we got on our list of things that we could possibly read that hopefully we have not read before and is under a different name in this game? How about... Skyrim's Rule. I don't think we've read that. Let's see, let me get my pencil here and cross this off. There we are. And Skyrim's Rule, where is it? Let's see, down here? Yeah, look, we haven't even opened it. Alright, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna take a quick drink. Sorry about this. Alright. Skyrim's Rule. An Outsider's View by Abdul Mujib Mujib Abab Ababne In my travels, and they have been many, I have encountered many strange peoples and cultures in many different provinces of the Empire, and in each I have found a method of governing and customs of leadership unique to that particular province. Ooh, look, we get info on other places, too. In Black Marsh, for example, the Argonian king relies upon his shadow-scale assassins to eliminate threats secretly, without the common knowledge of his people. Wait, how do you know? How do you know? Or is it that you don't know who's being eliminated? Hmm. In the imperial province of Cyrodiil, the emperor may rule directly, but the power granted to his elder council cannot be understated. During a recent journey to Skyrim, that harsh, frozen realm of the Nords, I was able for the first time to witness the unique manner of rule of this strong, proud people. It would appear that the entire province of Skyrim is separated into territories known as Holds, and each Hold finds its seat of power in one of the great ancient cities, and in each of these cities, there rules that holds king, known as a Jarl. The Jarls of Skyrim are, as a whole, a fierce sight indeed, sitting on their thrones ready to administer justice or send their forces out to quell some local threat, be it a pack of feral wolves or a terrifying giant that has wandered too close to a settlement. In observing these Jarls, I've found each to, of course, have his or her own unique personality. Yes, they're, they're people. <laughs> they are ultimately still people. <laughs> and leadership style. But what I perhaps did not expect, especially considering the Nord's leader's unfair reputation as barbarians or uncivilized chieftains, was the formal structure of each Jarl's court. For while that Hold's leader may be the one to sit on the throne... There is also a collection of functionaries who serve very specific and important roles. The court wizard counsels the Jarl in all manner of magical, in all matters magical, and may even sell services or spells to the keep's visitors. The steward is the Jarl's primary advisor, 
and generally takes care of the more mundane aspects of running the city, of running the keep, the city, or even the hold, depending on the situation. And woe is the fool who defies the housecarl, a personal bodyguard who rarely leaves the Jarl's side, and is pledged to sacrifice his or her own life to save that of their honored leader, if ever the need should arrive. But as mighty and influential as each individual Jarl is, Skyrim's true power comes from the strength of its High King. The High King is ruler above all, and is always one of the Jarls, selected by a body called the Moot, a specially convened council of all the Jarls, who meet with the express purpose of choosing Skyrim's High King, or so it is in theory. The reality, however, is that the High King swears fealty to the Emperor, and as Solitude is the city most directly influenced by imperial culture and politics, the Jarl of Solitude has served as High King for generations. The Moot, therefore, is more formality in theater than anything else. But as I prepared to leave Skyrim, I could feel a change in the air sense the trepidation of some of the good Nord people. Many seemed unhappy with the Empire's continued presence in their land, and the outlawing of the worship of Talos as the Ninth Divine, a stipulation of the White Gold Concordat, the peace treaty between the Empire and Aldmeri Dominion, has only strengthened that division. So while the Jarls of Skyrim still control their holds, and those Jarls are ruled over by their imperial-sanctioned High King, will there come a day when the Moot convenes to select a new High King, one that is not, as many would say, the Emperor's Solitude Puppet? Do they ever hold a Moot in this game, like at the end of the Civil War? At the end of one of the two Civil War arcs? Does that ever happen? Huh. Interesting. It is super fucked up that, like, only the Solitude Jarl ever becomes High King, right? It That is, like, totally fucked. If that day comes, I will be thankful to be far away from Skyrim, in my own home of Hammerfell. For such a decision could well mean civil war, and I fear that such a conflict would tear the fierce and beautiful Nord people asunder. Also, didn't, um, around this time doesn't, like, right, as is exemplified with the uh, side quest with, uh, what's her name, Sadi, Sadie, and all of the Alakir warriors looking for her, they've experienced some degree of, like, civil war, I don't know, but definitely some sort of civic-based strife, right? Especially with, um, I think it, it revolves around, like, the occupation of the Aldmeri Dominion. And all that bullshit, right? Very interesting. Very fascinating. I do love that... Um, that Skyrim has kind of returned to form. After Oblivion, it's returned to, like, what Morrowind did. I still can't by having um, gone. the she Empire painted not last. necessarily as, like, all good in that shit, right? It very much, re very much returns to, at least I feel... Like, the vibe in Morrowind, where what it's like, need? yeah, the Empire, they're not exactly all that fucking great for things going on here, right? And they even do the Morrowind thing where it's like, yeah, but so too, um, some of the, some of the people fighting against the Empire are also fucked up in their own way, right? I very much enjoy the way that it, like, creates those stipulations, that it creates that dichotomy between the factions and all that. It's very cool. I enjoy it. Anyway, when next we come back, we're speaking with Ulfric. We'll probably be rested up, this probably, but we'll definitely be speaking with Legend, Ulfric. We'll go hit go up that love. word of power, and then we'll go speak with Elisif. Until next time, please take care of each other.